Uh, Miss Decoramore, we're going to make over this pantry door to look really cool and add a decorative feature that you can remove if you don't like it later. One of the first things that I did when we bought our camper is I put a chalkboard wallpaper on here and I did the word pantry on it. That's been three years and I had another girl that made the word pantry for me and I was never just 100% happy with it. So now that I have my own Cricut, I designed my own new design that's gonna go on here and I wanted to take you through that process of how I decorated my pantry door. The first thing you're gonna need is some blackboard wallpaper. And this is peel and stick and I got it off of Amazon and it was $11 and I got two huge rolls. I guess I'm gonna have to make some more projects with this. It comes with the actual wallpaper and it comes with chalk. So if you wanted to just put this up here and make a little chalkboard and write on it, you could definitely do that. The next things you're gonna need is some kind of knife to cut it with and some kind of straight edge so that you can get a clean cut and then something to push the bubbles out to make sure that it is adhered to the glass good. Then you can either draw on it with chalk, real chalk, or you can do decals with a Cricut but there's a lot of different options that you can do with this. Let's start by adding the chalkboard sticker. So the first thing you wanna do is prep your glass. I'm using alcohol. I have it in this little thing I got it at the Dollar Tree just cause it's easier to pump out. But you wanna clean your glass and alcohol is really the best. You can use water, but alcohol, it gets any goop off because I did have the actual this stuff up here already and i pulled it off but it came right off no problems at all i was afraid it was going to pull these little things off when i pulled it off but it didn't i'm going to cut a piece just a little bit bigger than the actual glass that way i don't have to be really precise with it i'm just going to cut across the line all right got my piece cut and then i just want to hold it up here and kind of lay it in there to make sure that I cut it good. You always want to double check several times. And then we're going to start by peeling the top down and we'll put it on starting at the top. And you don't want to peel it all off to start with. All right, so I'm going to start this up at the top. And you're going to take the squeegee that I, we talked about and just go all the way down. You're just going to start pushing the air bubbles out and pushing it towards the sides as you go. When you get a bubble, you just have to kind of work it up and you want to be real gentle with it. And I have a few bubbles on here and I was just going to test and see. If you get some that you can't get it, just puncture it with like a little needle and they just go right down. But the ones on the side you can push over. And once you get all the bubbles out, now we're gonna trim the edge. So you want a sharp blade. I have my Cricut blade and some kind of straight edge. Cause what we're gonna do is we're gonna push this, make sure that it's all the way up against the corner. And then you're just gonna take this, put it in that groove and cut all the way down. That side is trimmed. We'll trim the top. And I didn't even think about that. I can just use the cricket thing up here. <laughs> like, mm, I forgot that, that wouldn't fit across there. I 
the light just stick in it if your glass if this will go in behind the glass it's easier just to follow that than trying to use try and use a straight edge the hardest part is these corners all right so that's all in there now let me cut the bottom perfect now i see a couple more bubbles that i have i do want to warn you about one thing the original tape that i got i got it at hobby lobby but they didn't have it anymore this year I think this is a little stickier and there's a few spots in here that the finish came off of the cabinet so I'm just gonna warn you before you press on it it's very possible that that may happen and here's what I think I would do if that did happen to you and I may end up doing that to this I don't know I would just get some black paint and paint the inside of that black I think that that would look good is to paint that black I don't know if everybody knows this or not. If you have chalkboard and you are going to actually like really use it for chalkboard, you need to take the side piece of the chalk and rub it all over your board. And I'm going to rub like you can see. That will give, that way when you write on it, it won't mess it up. But I'm doing that on this because I want it to have that chalkboard look even though I am putting stencil on it. If you're actually gonna use chalk on it, this is like a prep for the chalk so that when you do write on it, it won't leave like marks and stuff on it. And I got another bubble. <laughs> but they're easy. You just poke that in there and <laughs> push it out and it's gone. I'm putting on vinyl on mine so I'm gonna show you what I ended up doing and rub that on. All right, I have my word pantry on there. Oh no, oh, I forgot I was gonna do that. I forgot I was gonna add this at the top and the bottom. Oh my goodness. Just add that at the top. I really wanted my pantry down lower. Now. I'm gonna redo this pantry. My camera died. So, I don't know what I missed. Not sure what we missed, but I uh, ended up moving the pantry down a little bit because I stuck that on before I stuck this on because I was gonna put that on and forgot. All right, so this is what I drew for my pantry. Isn't that cute? I've got, I'm gonna put the thing down there, thing here, and then I feel like it's gonna go about right in here. So, but to find the center of my, to get it on there, I'm gonna twist it and pinch it. And then we're gonna put that right in the center. Rub it on. This is a hard decal because it has so many little bitty pieces. So it just, it's really makes it kind of hard to, to peel off because you want to make sure you get all the little pieces. Uh, oh, I'm so excited. I love it. I think it turned out so cute because I absolutely love country stuff. And then I did like a little thing that says open 24 seven. And then I want to put this down at the very bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on there next. Uh, done. I am obsessed and I love it. Obviously, you know, I'm a big farmhouse person and this just screams farmhouse all over the place. This is a super easy way and really not that expensive to update your pantry door. There's a couple of things that I want, I'm working on and I wanna tell you about it. Down in the description box, I'm gonna put the SVG file 
for this actual little cowl stack. That way, if you have a Cricut machine and want to do this same design, you can. I designed this, I drew it and custom made it. So it is my design, but I will, for y'all, give it to you for free. If you don't have a Cricut and you want to do something like this, I will sell just the cowl part. I will have a link in the description box below to an Etsy website where I will make this for you and ship it to you. I will sell just this for $10 and then I will have like the pantry and the open 24 seven and I'll just do those for like $3 a piece. Also, you can go on Etsy and find other patterns and stuff if you like, but I wanna make this accessible to y'all. I hope y'all are enjoying these decor videos. Feels like the whole camper is gonna to be totally remodeled and redone because I'm working on different videos for y'all. And he's like, goodness gracious, everything's gonna be changed. I hope this inspires you to fix your pantry door or change something up in your camper. Till next time, like and subscribe.